hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are older thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop so without any further ado let's get started so over here i'm using 1080 by 1080 pixels and the resolution is 300 so now we are going to our resource file and i'm going to import this background over here scale it out a little then click ok then the next one go back to your resource file and i'm going to import this one then scale it out then apply your filter then gaussian blur All right. Then I'm going to change it, the blending mode. Then I'm going to use pin light. Then go back to your resource file and import this one. Then scale it a little. Okay. Then now go back to your fitter, then blow, Gaussian blow and input this number here then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool then blow the top here and the bottom over here all right so i have to scale it out then bring it down a little Then go to your resource file again. And now we are going to import this one. Then position it over here. So I have to change the bloody mode to vivid light. Then now apply your blending. Now I'm going to import this one, then take it over here and reduce the size. Then go to your bloody mode and change it to pin light. Then apply your layer mask, then blend over here and this area. All right, increase it a little and reposition it. Then we are going to reduce the opacity to 53%. Now import this Christmas flower tree. Then we are going to rasterize it. Then select the market tool, highlight this position, right click, and I'm going to cut it out. Then I will drag this one up. Increase it to fit the area. all right so something like this is okay good to go now we are going to bring this one down bring it down something like this then the other side also scale it all right so now I'm going to import the church logo, then reduce the size. Now we are going to copy the heading, right click and copy it. 
then select your test tool. We are going to change the font. And the font you are going to use here is Coinbase. Select the bold one. Now we are going to paste it. Then reduce the font size. Drag it up and reduce it a little. Okay. Use your arrow key then to bring it closer. Now I'm going to group it using Ctrl plus G. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it and deselect it. All right. Then we are going to copy our test. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool, or you can use T on, on the keyboard. Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to change the font color to red. And this is the font I'm going to use. I'm going to use Bebas font. So now I'm going to search for Bebas new board then scale it out okay so the next thing i'm going to make it more bold i reduce the size Apply vertical alignment, then go back and deselect it. So now we are going to apply a drop shadow. Then reduce the spread. And the distance. Also reduce the opacity. something like this okay then play around with this and check the one that is okay for you so i'm going to leave it like this for now then i'm going to click okay i think it's okay like this now i'm going to copy the theme Control plus c to copy then select your rent angle and i'm going to draw a short rent angle over here then change the color to red and select your test tool now we are going to change the font color to white and we are going to change the font to coinbase sans then we are going to paste it, Ctrl plus V to paste. So now we are going to drag it over here and reduce the font size. Then I'm going to reduce the size of the rent angle a little. It's okay. Now go back to your test document and over here I'm going to copy this one. Then select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. Then change the font color to black. And we are going to change the font so we are going to use this font here hostly signature now increase the font size
then go back to your test document and make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste all right now we are going to change the font and we are going to use the font over here 28 days later and increase the font size then i'll position it around here then the character spacing i'm going to reduce it and increase the font size then select all apply vertical alignment to centralize it then go back and deselect it then i'm going to select the team hold your shift key while you select it and i'm going to use the arrow key then to move it so now select it while i'm going to make use of the mouse then to drag it now reduce the size so click like this then i'm going to click ok to apply it now i'm going to drag this one reduce the size then i will drag it over here reduce the size then i'll keep it over here why i'm going to select my rent angle to and i'm going to draw a rent angle from this angle then i will drop it at this position okay then i'm going to change the color to red Use your arrow key then to move it up. All right. So the rectangle has now been centralized. Now I'm going to select this icon. Go to image adjustment select hue and saturation then drag this over here then copy the dates ctrl plus c to copy now select your test tool and we are going to change the font to Coinbase Sans. Then reduce the font size. All right. Then we are going to change the font color to white. Remove the character spacing to zero percent now i'm going to select my ellipse tool to draw a little cycle over here then i'm going to change the color to black duplicate this one and i'm going to drag it over here now go to your test document and copy this one select your test tool then select and highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight then ctrl plus v to paste all right Now we are going to reduce the font size. 
Okay. So the last thing we are going to do now, we are going to make a copy of this location. Control plus C to copy. Now we are going to import the location icon and reduce the size while we bring it and position it over here. All right. I think it's too big, so we need to reduce it. Okay, so then select the test tool and we are going to change the font to Coinbase Sans. Now we are going to paste it, Ctrl plus V, then reduce the font size. Okay. Then select this one and position it over here. So that is all about this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video and if you need any of my flyer please you can go to my fiverr account the link is in the description and make your order thank you so much